but I don't like the idea that an artist should think, I know better than you do what you should believe, and I'm going to make you believe it. That sounds like a very dangerous thing. That sounds like doing what, what uh, the Murdoch papers like to do. And just because they're on your side, it doesn't make it right. Um, so, so what I think artists can do is to perhaps inspire people to behave like artists when they're thinking about politics. So to jump out of the boxes that politics is put into and to try to start thinking about them, to rethink it creatively, to think, what would I do if this were a work of art? What would I want to see happening here? Um, and again, I think, I think we've seen this happen in Brazil, um, certainly more than anywhere else, where you've seen intelligent uses of um, a combination of um, state and private enterprise, for example. Um, an intelligent, continuous repositioning on this um, long spectrum between command economy and free enterprise. Now, the, this is usually such an ideologically strained and difficult um, discussion to have that governments can't even do it. In England, it's impossible. Um, the government has to either be there if it's the red one, or there if it's the blue one. Same with the Democrats and Republicans. There are certain subjects that cannot be discussed, certain words that can't be used. But this is sort of the opposite, exactly the opposite of being an artist. You know, if, if you're trying to behave as an artist, there are no words that can't be used. There are no colors that can't be mixed. And so, all I think artists can do politically is to try to take their manner of thinking and their manner of approaching things to this difficult subject of politics. Right.